Hey, kia ora, Helen Brams here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a super fantastic, sparkling, fun Friday. So what fun did you get up to today? Um, remember this morning we were talking about different ways you could have fun, even if you are a business of just one person. Um, we talked about different ways that you could have fun. I showed you some of the stuff that I fiddle with and... I even got some new stuff today, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, my day has been a lot of fun today. It's been a crazy day with um, with the amount of calls coming in, the amount of chats coming in, the meetings I had to have. It's been amazing. My um, project that I am working on, I got updated on that today, and there's very little I have to do. They're about to kick it live um, and do some testing, so I am super, super excited about that. So by the end of, I think it's by mid next week or end of next week, we should have that up and running, which is awesome because then I can work on the second one of getting um, my podcasts up and running. So I'm um, just waiting for that piece to fall into place, get the podcast up and running, and we're good to go. So super excited. Stay tuned for that for next week. Um, busy day on the chat today. It, was, it wasn't a, as so much as a lot of chats coming in at the same time. It was a very steady, so just as I'm finishing up with one, a new one would come in. Um, so it was a very, very steady day. And um, there were some strange requests in there, but most of them were, um, were really good questions and stuff. And I got to learn some new things today as well. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> and then my, my box from Amazon finally arrived. And I was super excited because in there, and I had already ordered this, so um, before I was hoping it would arrive before this morning, but it didn't. It's called Fidget Toys. <laughs> fidget Toys, what the heck? So in this box of Fidget Toys, I already have some of the stuff out. It has um, this, and you know what? This, this is actually a puzzle wall. I've already solved it. So you have one where there is a hole, and then the idea is to get the little balls into the same colored circle. And you just gotta press the ball, you know, press the ball, and put it into a vacant hole, and then you can move the others around. So I was just sitting here fiddling it, and all of a sudden I went, "Oh, I solved it! I got it all done!" So I was like, "Yay, yay me!" So I'll find some way of mixing it up when I'm sitting watching TV or something. I just move the balls into different places and get back. Um, <laughs> then it's got one of these, which I love. These you just sit and just watch them. I love watching these things. Um, so that now sits on my desk. Also in there was, um, I love the, I love these things. It was one of these things. Um, you can spin it. It's got a clicker switch. It's got another switch here you can play with. Um, you can just rub your finger over that one. At this end, it's got little wheels like a combo lock. Then it's just got a little ball to move around with. And on the other side, it's just got a place where just a smooth area. And then you've got clicker buttons. And sometimes when you're playing with some of the other buttons, you can actually do two things at once. I love, I love these things. Um, that's, that's what came in this box. Um, also in this box, there's a set of these things, and you just move the ball. You can just play with the ball going backwards and forwards. And I thought, yeah, it's a really good texture thing. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a couple of link chains that you can just... Now it's just something to it's just something to fiddle with while I'm writing. While I'm writing, I can't do it while I'm typing because I type two-handed. But when I'm writing, um, they're just good things to pick up and play with. And then they have a couple of these things that you can stretch. I was doing this I was going like this, and so people were like, "What the heck?" But you can just—it's just a squishy thing that you can play with. There's one of these balls here that is just like a stress ball, and you can just do that with the things. Um, these things here, I don't know what the hell they're made of, but they're super, super soft, super squishy, and feel weird, but cool at the same time. Um, there's more of those. I thought these were like those Chinese finger things, but no, the ends are so, and it's just got a marble back that you just move backwards and forwards. So there was a several of those. There's another one of those thingy bobs. And then this was um, slime that you can go play with. I haven't played with that yet. And... Then a couple of little mini Rubik's cubes in there as well. So that wasn't too bad. There's stuff, you know, stuff I will fiddle with, stuff I won't. Um, and then I got my other toy. My other toy is really cool. 
I've got to show you this. Hang on. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes over there. So this is the coolest thing. Ever. I have never seen one of these before. Um, but this is the coolest thing ever. It's a stress ball. But this is what you do. Ready? You're watching? Hang on. i got to get this in the middle. There you go. <laughs> and it all goes back inside the netting. And then you just squish it and it all comes out again. It is the, I tell you, it feels really weird, but it makes this squishy noise. I don't know if you can hear it over the AC unit, but isn't that cool? <laughs> and these balls have, they have little balls inside the big balls. So that's the coolest thing. I just, I've been sitting, when I was sitting here, I was just, when I first got it, I'm just like, and this after I had opened everything else, this was the last, this was a separate package. I opened this by itself and, uh, and I'd played with the other stuff, accidentally solved the ball puzzle, the ball puzzle, this thing. And um, so I thought, what the, the heck's this? And I thought, am I supposed to? And I squeezed it and went, oh. So I've been sitting, so um, when I wasn't typing, I was just doing this. But I thought, you know, it's good because you're doing the squishy thing. You're helping. It's got to be some sort of exercise in there, you know, hand exercise or something. And good for the fingers when you write long time. I'm not sure how good, how good it is on tendonitis, tenosynovitis, and carpal tunnel. Yes, one-on-one -on -one wrist. Not fun. But uh, isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> you just squeeze it and it comes out. It's a little ball. Oh, you want to sniff? She's like, she has an ex... Uh, yeah. no, not interested. <laughs> She's gone. So anyway, so that was my extra fun that I had today. <laughs> Oh, I love things that I can play with while I work, especially when I'm writing. Give one hand something to do while the other one writes. I and mean, this is just going to keep me fascinated for hours. <laughs> so that was one of my that's one of my favorite ones that I got. It was a separate one to what came in the box. So how cool is that? I love that. Okay, put that away for now. Um, <laughs> so what fun plans do you have for this weekend? I am knocking out my to-do list this weekend. I have a couple of things to do. For my project that I'm working on that's going to go live next week once they test it. They actually going to put it live, test everything, and then from there um, we will go live live with everybody else. Um, so I'm getting that in place this weekend and do some more writing this weekend. We'll go be going to the dog park on Saturday, on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure what else. Oh, tackle the to-do list on Saturday so we get all of that done so Sunday we can really sit back, back and relax. Um, and then our tell your story question of the day was what did you do for fun as a kid? So what sort of things did you do for fun? I used to play with my brothers. I had two younger brothers. Um, probably why I'm so much of a tomboy because they didn't play with dolls. <laughs> but we used to we used to play together, build things together with Meccano and Lego and building blocks and all of that. And um, then as we got older, they had their friends that they would go do stuff with and I had my friends I would go do stuff with. But um, we played board games together. Um, we had one big grass hill near us in one place we lived. So you'd, you'd go sliding down the grass hill on pieces of cardboard. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> so this thing is just sort of like, I really don't want to leave it alone. Um, but I also don't want to break it either because it's, it's the coolest. Oh, obviously. But I don't want to overtax my hand because I've been playing with it all afternoon. Um, so, yeah, so what, are the, what fun things did you get to do as a kid? Um, so let us know in the comments below. Remember, um, we need your family tree questions um, for your family tree answer. For the family tree answers podcast is going to be starting next week. I just haven't decided which day next week. I know it's going to be next week. I just don't know which day. I have to figure out which one works best with my schedule. So we will announce that next week or maybe over the weekend. I don't know. There's a lot of planning stuff going in there, but that also depends on if my project tests okay and we go live with it because it's going to tie in with the podcasts as well. So there's a lot of stuff hinging on this other project, getting up and running, testing okay and getting up and running. And then there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that's going to start happening all at once because that thing's suddenly live. But anyway, that's it from me for today. Go have a super fantastic sparkling, a fun Friday evening. Um, we're going to go have some dinner and um, I get my to-do list done today. Hang on, looking at my to-do list. Yes, it looks like I did. Woohoo. 
Yay. That means I get to watch a movie tonight. What movie are we going to watch, Zeph? She's too busy looking out the window. Anyway, have a super fantastic, sparkling, fun Friday. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow morning for Shake It Up Saturday. Hey, Conara. Do, do, do.